Greetings, 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 royal family. Welcome back. This is episode two of season three of Tyler Perry's great value version of Girlfriends, a.k.a. Sisters. Girl, <laughs> I told y'all, I knew Gary, nothing was going to be wrong with Gary. This was a mess. Gary is sitting on the end of the bed in his drawers, y'all, in the opening scene of this episode. The same drawers that Jasmine said that she brought for him after she shot him to the ground. You... So Andy walks into the room, right? The officer is accompanying her, walking, walking into her bedroom, right? Where Gary lay while she and Jasmine, which is Gary's, are they divorced? Ex-wife, they were tussling and she got knocked upside the head with a book or whatever it is that Andy did in her stupid lingerie outfit. Crazy Gary is sitting in the room on the end of the bed and he doesn't look like he has a scratch on him, right? Crazy Gary, he said that he replaced the bullets in Jasmine's gun with rubber ones. When did he have time to do this? <laughs> this plot line is so lazy and I'm sick of it. Please be advised that Tyler Perry is the writer, the only writer, director, executive producer and creator of this show so he is the one that is writing the underdevelopment of these <laughs> cast members and all of these scenes and storylines please don't forget that because his name is all up and through the credits and he does not want you to forget that keep that in mind when the hell did gary have time to replace bullets with rubber bullets i thought he and jasmine crazy wife client were divorced i thought that he was done he was ready to move out get on a plane and be out gary don't even have a rubber scratch on him like rubber bullets penetrate the skin right at least the top layer of the skin they can break the top layer of the skin right anyway so gary tells andy you know she eats up everything that he says okay uh, Crazy Gary tells Andy that um, when he was living with her, he had an idea that she would do something like this. <laughs> Woo! And he put non-lethal rubber bullets in Jasmine's gun. This is so, this story, this show is so bad that it's comical. Like, we're just gonna rock out and have fun. I, I gave this show a chance. If you've been rocking with me for some time, season one, I used to come on camera every week and review this show faithfully. And it's just, it's just a total ish show. Okay. So we're just going to have fun with these reviews going forward because I have lost all hope that there's going to be any good storyline with this. This is just all for jokes and giggles. Anyway, now y'all know Andy is simple, right? She is really going to stick behind beside Gary. She's going to stick beside him. Um, she says she's going to change the locks, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, because Jasmine busts up in Andy's apartment when Gary and her were about to get it on, right? That's why Andy is in her lingerie and Gary is in his drawers, right? As an attorney, the resolution to her problem, I'm just going to change the locks. No, how about you leave crazy Gary and his crazy wife alone? How about you leave just... Just move, Andy. Get away from him. <sighs> Gary said he got to leave. Mind you, he in his drawers. Ah, ooh, ah. Acting like he got an injury in his, in his thigh meat. <laughs> this show is so bad, right? Now, in the middle of the night, Gary said he got to go. I'm like, where is he going? Gary says that he's about to leave to go get his son from his ex-mother-in-law house, which is the little boy, Granny. And he said he going to get the little boy from Jasmine mama house and bring the little boy to his mama house in the middle of the night. Like I said, Gary and Andy were about to do the grown up before Jasmine ran up in Andy's apartment with her rubber bullets. Now Gary got to leave to go get his son. Andy wants to go with him. He tells her no. Uh, you know, her sisters are crazy. No, her family's crazy. No, no, no. They, they're not going to like you. Andy said, oh, I'll wait in the car. <gasps> Gary says no. So Gary hobbles away. <laughs> but again, we see no wound. <sighs> Moving along to Karen, child. 
At this point, I don't care about her or Aaron, okay? Are we going to find out who uh, used her credit card or not? I still think it was Aaron, and I still think that Karen knows that it's Aaron, but for some reason she's holding off because he's fell off the wagon, you know, he's a recovering alcoholic, and now he's drinking again, and she feels bad because Aaron caught her getting some from Zach, who's her ex. So uh, are we, who used the credit card? Is it is it the assistant or is it Aaron? Because that's all I really care about. Andy basically is in, not Andy, Aaron, excuse me, is in Karen's living room. He's shirtless, hungover, and he's regretting getting drunk, right? Now, he wanted to get some of Karen's cookies, right? So with the hopes that she would forget about Zach. It, this is just so pathetic, you know? And um, remember, Karen got caught, you know, having sex with, with, uh, with Zach. Karen says Zach is in her heart. You know, this fake deep storyline between the two of them is boring and it's not even believable in my opinion. And the bad acting just makes it absolutely worse. Go home, Aaron. Just go home. Go home. Um, I feel like, again, I said this in season two, I think it was. I said that Karen's trauma is just swept under the rug, if you know what I'm saying. You know, the late Aaron's ex-wife uh, offed herself in Karen's hair salon right in front of her. So it's just like her trauma is just swept under under the rug, and she has to pacify baby Aaron and his bipolar behavior with his, you know, recovering alcoholism. Bye, Baldy. Just go. 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 As he's leaving, he tells her, you know, that they both need, quote, unquote, time. And he tells her, bye. Good. So does this mean that we're not going to see him for the rest of the season? Because I, I could go without seeing him. He doesn't add anything. Is he the one that stole the credit, used the credit card or not? We move on to Danny. Danny and Rodeo, you know, they don't go anywhere. They don't do anything. They just repeat the same lines in her apartment, episode after episode. Um, I'm just like, damn, can y'all even go for like a romantic walk in the park, go for ice cream, go out to eat something. Then Sabrina, she stopped in as uh, rodeo was leaving. Um, she basically stopped by to ask Danny, how should she handle going back to work after what happened with Jacoby and Calvin? How old is Sabrina? Yo, like real talk, like Sabrina, nothing to see here. Talk about simple Sabrina. Next, moving along back to Andy. So, <laughs> Andy's getting ready for work. She's getting ready to leave. And Gary shows up in her apartment because, you know, he has the key to her apartment in his blue suit. He shows up with some dude who claims that he's looking for a model. And Gary suggested Andy. Now, mind you, Jasmine just tried to take her and Gary up out of here with her rubber bullets. And Andy is sitting there giggling while Gary brought a whole stranger in her house. So Gary, he com crazy Gary convinces Andy to do it. And, you know, she agrees. Mind you, Gary ain't limping no more. He was just limping yesterday or the, the night before, not even the whole day before, just the previous night. Rubber bullets, huh? <sighs> you know what would make this plot line interesting? If Jasmine and Gary were actually in cahoots, that would make it interesting. And where's the PI lady? Erase her head. Where's she at? At least she was, she was funny. Anyway, Andy asks, you know, um, the guy leaves, and Andy's like, I'm not a model. Gary, you think that I can model? He's like, of course, baby. Of course, baby, you can do it. A whole stranger, y'all. You know who he reminded me of? What the heck is that guy's name that sings How Many Drinks Would It Take You to Leave With Me? What's his name? Who did the song with Kendrick Lamar? Miguel. He looked like Miguel in the leather jacket, the guy. So just randomly Gary you just got friends from all walks of life huh whatever um so Andy she asked you know how's his son doing because remember he had to go pick up uh his son just the night before from Nana number one's house and drop his son to Nana number two according to Gary so Andy asked yo how's your son you know and she's like I want to meet him girl <laughs> Andy just dumb who's who, who's who's simpler Andy or Sabrina Drop that in the comments to let me know. So Gary makes an excuse like, no, you know, you know, with his autism, I don't want to, with everything that's going on. So basically the answer is no, Andy. You ain't meeting his son, girl. It's not happening. <sighs> we shift gears to Maurice, okay? Meanwhile, he's at the bank. Um, 
<laughs> I like to call it we don't do a damn thing bank because they don't work. Okay, they don't do anything. Anyway, Maurice, he gets a customer who brought in a check to be cashed, right? The man had a check that was issued by Calvin. It was out of Calvin's checkbook. And he claims that Calvin is his boss. So Maurice calls foul, calls the popo. The boy ends up running out, right? So I'm saying to myself, so who the hell is this dude who had access to Calvin's checkbook? F FYI, he also came in willing to do anything to Maurice to prevent him from calling the cops. Maurice is like, stop looking at my titties. You know, the hyper-sexualized, you know, gay male, gay black male. Maurice, Maurice has to have more range than this, Tyler. He has to have more range than this. This is embarrassing. Anyway, Sabrina the Simple, she walks in as Jacoby, you know, was entering and talking to, to Maurice, going back and forth with Maurice. Um... And Maurice was basically sexually harassing him. It, 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 let's call it what it is. You know, making suggestive comments. Blat not even suggestive. Blatant comments uh, toward Jacoby, who he knows is not gay, right? Jacoby's a straight male. So I, I don't understand why Maurice is being so graphic with him in the middle of the we don't do a damn thing here bank and trust at his job with his heels on. I, I can't. Anyway, so Sabrina, she walks in um, like an eight-year-old child, you know, that she, that she appears to be. And she says hi to Maurice and totally ignores Jacoby and storms in her office. And, and, and Maurice is like, ooh, you know, Sabrina's slow. And I think she gets simpler and simpler every season. That's, that's just my assessment. All right, back to Karen. So she's in her salon where her ghetto receptionist, ooh, ooh, her receptionist really irks me. Uh, for some reason. And Andy walks in, right? Um, Andy lets Karen know that, you know, she didn't know that Fatima and Zach were dealing with each other. Karen, you could tell that she feels some type of way. You know, it seems, it just seems that she, she kind of thinks that Andy knew or she's just giving Andy kind of like the cold shoulder, kind of, kind of. But she's still like being friendly with her, kind of. It, it's just weird. It's just weird. I just feel like Karen feeling some type of way is dumb because Karen and Zach were broken up. So what is, I don't get it. He, he wasn't worth a damn, right? So I don't, I don't understand. Anyway, anyway, we move on to Andy. She's at work finally. And she calls Fatima into her office to talk about, you know, her and Zach. Fatima didn't know. And Andy believes her. I mean, Fatima basically has it in her mind that it's over with her and Zach because of the situation with Karen. You know, he slept with Karen. Um, while Fatima and Zach were dating, Fatima's done. Andy, you know, she proceeds to tell Fatima that the Zach that she knows lives off of women. Here you go, hating. Um, Fatima said that she doesn't have a problem taking care of Zach because, you know, some women, they grow up with mommy issues and they look for mother figures in the women that they date, something like that. Keep in mind, Tyler Perry is the writer of, this, uh, of these lines for these, uh, each and every one of these characters. Anyway, back to the bank. Maurice calls Calvin, right, um, to let him know that, you know, he's been scammed, basically, and his account is empty, and the only way to resolve it is to be seen in person by a manager in the bank, right? Um, Maurice's concern is like, look, you better have come up with some money to make sure you have your half of the rent, because remember, they're roommates. Calvin is hesitant. Who, who in the heck wouldn't want to rectify any sort of fraud on their account? Who, like, what does he mean? No, no, why can't this be? I, I don't want to come in, in person. So you just going to let your account go to zero and let some scammer just scam you out of all your money, huh? Anyway, moving along. Danny, okay, um, she's at work, hardly working, and Gary calls Danny to ask if she and the girls can show up to Andy's photo shoot to support her. And Danny's like, what photo shoot? What the heck are you talking about? So she kind of ends up hanging up on Gary, like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And she calls the other sisters on a three-way call, being, that being Sabrina and um, Karen. And they all seem to sense that something isn't, isn't right. So they are going to definitely um, show up in support of uh, Andy. But this should be interesting. Then at the airport, where Zach also works, where Danny, Danny and Zach, they work at the same airport, a woman says, oh, darn, you know, I forgot my laptop case or laptop bag or what have you. And Zach being, I guess, nice. Oh, I'll go get it. She was very like, are you sure? Are you sure you're going to get it? What was it, a bomb? Like what? Something ain't right there. Something something isn't right, okay? Because that's how, like, the episode kind of closed out um, toward the end. But this show is still a hot mess. 
The writing is still poor. It, it is funny. I'm not going to front. Uh, and it is interesting to view. And now let's move on to see what Twitter has to say. You guys know that I like to search the hashtag of the shows that I'm watching. This one is hashtag sisters on BET. And I like to read some of the hashtags on Twitter because if you guys don't know, it is a total hoot. So let's take a look. So somebody said, I swear, Andy was straight hating, talking about not the Zach I know. The Zach I know lives off of women. Well, that's not the Gary we know. The Gary we know is a liar, fraudster, shady, and not to mention almost killed your A double S. But Otasis, whatever. Ooh. <laughs> Hilarious. And I wholeheartedly agree. Let's see. Some of these are ads on here. Another one says, I need Andy to check herself with Gary. I really dislike this relationship. Fatima and Zach get back together. Sheesh. <sighs> it's raining men for Sabrina. Child, please. Andy's still stupid, I see. Another Twitter user writes, Why is this woman at the airport trying to set up Zach? Lord, next week. Yeah, what's that all about? It seems, like, you know who it could be? Attorney Church Shoes. The guy that likes Fatima. We haven't seen him all season. The guy that likes Fatima and is privy to Zach's uh, criminal history. Mm-hmm. Attorney Church Shoes. I don't remember his name. Anyway, someone else wrote or posted, Andy be having me messed up. Talk about I'm not about to talk to you about their relationship. And you the one questioning me, ho. <laughs> My least favorite character. <laughs> ah! That's what Maurice said. Don't be looking at my titties. Something about Gary just don't sit right with me. It doesn't sit right with any of us, but at least he's interesting, full of surprises because we don't know what we're getting. Now, if the season ends with Gary setting Andy up again, then I'm just not even going to say nothing. I know what to expect. Pam is annoying AF. Now, is Pam the assistant? Because if that's the assistant, then yes, she is. Um, Karen's assistant in the hair salon. Yes, she really is. Very annoying and ghetto and annoying and not even funny ghetto, you know? Anyway, someone else posted, Andy is annoying as hell. I can't stand her. Fatima, though, I'm so glad uh, she has a permanent role. I do not understand why it's an issue with her and Zach when Karen's been with Aaron this whole time. I agree with that. How old is Sabrina? How is she? <laughs> how has she survived all these years? She is so sheltered. I'm surprised she hasn't ended up in someone's unmarked van looking for candy and puppies. Um, you know what? Now you're taking it too far. But I, I agree with the first part. But that last sentence was a little bit too graphic. Okay, too that's too much. Uh, Andy gets dumber with each episode. You really asked Gary if you could go with him to pick up his son from his ex-wife's mom's house, the same ex-wife whose husband you was cheating with and that just tried to take you, take you and Gary up out of here? Not even an hour ago? Girl, you deserve to D.I.E. Well, damn. Now she deserved a D.I.E. Yes, thank you for reminding uh, us, poster, poster of this post. Because you were cheating with a married man, Andy. You home wrecker. I don't feel sorry for you whatsoever. All right, what else? I'm going to read like two more. Why don't y'all like Karen? Ugh, I love her. She can't do no wrong in my eyes with her indecisive ass. Karen's annoying. Aaron walked in on Zach taking Karen to pound down. <laughs> And his whole story changed. Went from, let's take things slow to, okay, I'm ready now. Let's do it. He really thought he was going to be celibate too. Congratulations, you played yourself. <laughs> Man, Gary's wife should have shot Andy, I swear. Now, I normally read these when I post, but I'm going to start saving like these to the end on, um, you know, posting them on, po sharing. Um, ugh, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to start waiting until the end of the review. I don't try to be perfect. It is what it is, right? And I'm not editing this out because I don't know how. So I'm going to start waiting until the end of the reviews to go on Twitter to search the hashtag to just share some of the funny, you know, tweets or whatever. So like I said, a lot of the shows that I watch, I search the hashtag and sometimes I'll jump on there and post. I think I've said this before. I do it for growing up hip hop, Shaz of Sunset and um, Sisters on BT. All right, I'm rambling. That's all I got. Ain't got no more. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you saw the episode, I'm signing off for now. And as always, until next time, folks. Peace.